I would say that medical research is so important to me because I do come from um, an underrepresented background. I am a Mexican-American female and my family has been affected by various diseases such as cancer. So it really hits home for me. Coming into the lab, I was kind of really, really scared. I didn't know if I was going to be able to do it because medical research was so foreign to me. And then um, I would say now my perception has changed on it. Now as a UTP student, I'm able to understand like the mechanisms and the molecular aspect of it all. And now I'm understanding more and understanding health disparities. So I would say it changed a lot. I feel the UTP program is very important because it shines light on health disparities. I was diagnosed with Guillain-Barre syndrome when I was 10. And personally, I have seen firsthand in the hospital just a health disparity with me not even getting a, the opportunity to be educated and know what's going on. They wouldn't hold information back from me and even try and do things without my parents' noise. Yeah, that I feel this has shown me what a good doctor can be, how uh, a good researcher it can be as well, and it has taught me a lot. So I did a lot of research in the biochemistry lab, so I was able to do research on different protein pathways that impact expansion of thyroid cancer. So it was really interesting being able to do my own research and being able to conduct my own research procedures. That was something that I personally really enjoyed the most. I think it's important because you learn skills prior to going to college and I think specifically for us going from high school to college really gives you the skills that you need in you know basic labs like chemistry or biology and just getting familiar with the environment that you're really working in, getting familiar with research that hopefully you do conduct during undergrad and even, even beyond just lab skills they teach you people skills, how to interact with people in your lab, how to interact with people like your peers and I think that's the main reason why um, I, I love this program and I like everyone here. This, this community is really, you know, really nurturing and it's, it's a different environment than what I'm used to, so I enjoy being here. I've always grown up hearing love your neighbor. I guess I didn't really understand until I had gotten here that part of that is faith in action and faith in action could also be uh, faith in science and in medical research. To love your neighbor means more than just offering a, a helping hand when you can, sort of on a personal level. It also means dedicating your career and your efforts and your education towards serving others um, and making a difference for those who really need it most. Anyone who really has the initiative um, and the drive and the ambition to be part of medical research can really get there. And Part of that is because of LOU and the Center for Health Disparities in Molecular Medicine. And I'm very thankful that they kind of showed me and all of my friends here at the program that, um, you know, science is open is, is, and the door is open and anyone who, who really wants to can step in. Hi, my name is Marco. I'm from Loma Linda and I'm from the ABC program. And one of my favorite things about the program is that every morning uh, we, we have a writing workshop where we get to work on our scientific writing skills. And here we are presenting our, our posters, which we have spent the entire summer working on. So it gives the students an opportunity to present what they've been working on over the summer. So over the summer, I was working on how Alzheimer's disease um, works in, in mice and how it affects their brain and how we can reverse the effects of Alzheimer's disease. So my name is Aiden Liu. I am in the ABC program and right now I go to Beckman High School. I'm a rising senior and right now we're in Loma Linda University. I'm excited to be here because we're presenting our results that we've been working all summer long on in a symposium and we're going to be sharing it with all of our friends, faculty, everybody important. So I researched amino acid sequences of BK alpha isoforms across a wide phylogenetic range of species. So I mainly worked with the computer and ultimately the results were very gratifying, I'd say. It allowed me to process the results and come up with very significant conclusions that I may be, that I feel are ultimately very useful. So this is my second year in the ABC program. I'm really excited to be back here because last summer I had a really good time, really good experience, especially with my mentor, Dr. Hessinger. And I'm glad to be back with him again, uh, back with him again this year. 
Hello, my name is Giselle Magania and I am originally from University of Redlands and I'm in the undergraduate training program here at Loma Linda. And so a reason why I decided to join this program was because I was very interested in cancer stem cell, cancer stem cell research and I wanted to pursue something in cancer research. And so luckily Loma Linda gave me this fortunate opportunity to work, to work here with the summer. And so um, to begin, uh, my title is Immunofluorescence Microscopy to Determine Homologous Recombination Status in Ovarian Cancer Patient Samples. So um, ovarian cancer is the most lethal gynecologic cancer due to the late onset of symptoms and very low survival rate. So in humans, there are six DNA repair pathways, and two of which I will be mentioning, homologous recombination, HR, and PARP, which is part of the base excision repair pathway. And so uh, typically when there's a deficiency in one of these pathways, we can manipulate, it, uh, manipulate another pathway that is correlated in some way to uh, produce uh, synthetic lethality, a situation in which when there are mutations or changes in two genes versus one, that it will result in cell death. So that's ultimately what we're trying to do. We're trying to uh, make these cancer cells uh, undergo apoptosis or cell death, so that way we can have better clinical treatment in patients.